GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 10 series of uh, my generic brand Galaxy Start. We started on the alien planet. Here, I'll go outside. I put my EVA boost on so I can go outside now. Um, so there's the alien planet that we built our <laughs> escape craft from um, but we can't warp out of the system because we don't have a warp drive <laughs> so we're not done in this system yet we need to like scour the system but we can't in this thing right now it's it's not efficient it only has one uh, generator it's consuming too much fuel because of that, and it only has a t one tiny little tank. It doesn't have enough cargo, yada, 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 yada. <clears throat> Today, we're going to modify the camo shack. We're going we're gonna to make a tiny little hangar bay, and then basically that's what we're going to start with, is we're going to try getting the hangar bay built today. I made a bunch of parts, and... I think for the rest of the, the episode, we're going to be building, and I'm going to just build from inside the camo shack here using my, that way I'm not consuming oxygen from my, my, uh, my suit. I'm just consuming it inside the camo shack. I believe it's more efficient. Now, I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I've, I've heard that as a rumor. I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't really crunched the numbers and and taken a look, but um, anyhow, let's just assume that's true. It's I'm better off not floating around in space anyway, probably. So I made a bunch of blocks. We've got a bunch of, oh, is that the wrong one? That's ammo. I want ammo. I've got. Okay, there we go. Controller. Well, I did need ammo too, didn't I? Yeah. But, well, I do have a 2000K or 2K cargo, which is not bad for the ammo currently. Anyway, um, you can see we're almost maxed out on this one. So let's get to building. So we've got this here, let's put this in our, no, not that one. We want this one and we want these. We're gonna want some fuel tanks. Uh, let's make sure, oh, she's, she's nice and topped up right now, although she could use some oxygen. And where did I put that? Where is the oxygen? Oh, there's some, okay. That's fine. We've got tons of water on us. Okay. Um, so we will end up cutting into this thing, I think. Maybe not, though, because the... Let's see. Let's see. Well, yeah, because it... Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to shut the oxygen off because I'm going to be puncturing this thing. So whatever. Um, for starters, I think I want to make the bottom hangar bay, right? Come out a bit. Not too far here. Let's just bring this out a bit here. Uh, so we're going to want that door down. We're going to want at least a couple more there. And then we'll govern it with a switch. That should be fine. Okay. So that's going to be the door. What I want to do is it's just going to be a real small little hangar bay and then and that should be enough be big enough for 
two very small vehicles, right? What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five. So I want to build a five by four. Do I have that made? Did I make one? Yes, I did. And then I'm going to be using the armored doors for the up and down entry and exit from the elevators, which will be near the front of the vessel once I build that. So we're, we need at least six wide because the walls are going to be, or sorry, seven wide because the um, hangar is going to be five. Okay, so that's seven. So if we do the hangar door, a we got five by four. I really like that. That's awesome. So let's do that. The five by four. Just a little higher than the five by three. A little easier to get in and out of if with smaller vehicles. Um, okay. So that's the beginning of our hangar. And then I guess I could wall that up at this point, right? Get that walled in, and then and it'll be really peeny, five wide. I don't know if we'd fit uh, an SV in. We could fit a little clap track in, and I think that's all we're going to be able to fit. Okay, so a tiny little, a tiny little jet of some sort we, we might be able to fit in here with it. That's fine. Um, okay, so I think we need to start this wall then, since we're going to make this really peeny. We're going to need more blocks. <laughs> we're going to need a lot more blocks. Okay, so we need to start dismantling this thing. Let's get our that. And then what we need to do is we need to deoxygenate. And then we can just live off siphoning off the uh, tanks with the uh, with the O2 dispenser for now. Okay, so let's get rid of this block here. Let's get rid of a bunch of blocks now. So add we'll pick up a bunch of these and I want to turn these into extensions and actually we're going to get rid of pretty much all that although you know stepping up one level is not that bad of an idea Um, okay, let's just keep the cockpit for now. Well, I, you know what? I don't think anything's going to come bug us because I think it already would have. So we're probably going to be okay, but okay. Let's start dismantling this thing. I don't want these metal blocks up here. That light might be able to stay though. Um, funny enough, same with those. Get rid of these windows. That was weird. Hit it a couple times and then see it went clear. <laughs> that was bizarre. Hit, hit, clear. And then, bam. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, hmm. Do I want it to bump up? Maybe, you know what, later on in the nose. I think the construction area will have it the same level. Okay. So let's get all these blocks taken. Because these are not going to be the right blocks. Okay. Right. 
would be nice to have a T2 multi-tool, but I didn't actually... Well, you know what? I didn't actually look to see if I... I know I didn't loot one. Um, I don't think large constructors can make them. No. No, I'll have to wait till I make a uh, an advanced constructor. I don't have the mats. Don't have the mats. Okay. So let's keep popping the stuff off. Great thing about using CVs as a starting base is there's no such thing as structural integrity on a vehicle. So, like, I don't have to worry about destroying blocks because of collapsing a portion of the vehicle. And especially out in space, obviously. But, um, okay, so I think what I want to do is I want to put the door there. So let's do that. We've got these, where did it go? We've got the door that we just popped off. I don't need to put an armor door here for the interior door. So let's, um, should that go there or should that go there? Where were we doing the wall? Is it there? No, it's one back, so it's right there. But no, it's not. See, okay, so what do I need to do is I need to spin this. That's how it needs to go. Okay, now we can start doing something. For starters, let's put in the, oh, why won't, Oh, am I in the way? Maybe I'm in the way. I might be in the way. Let me get through the door here. <laughs> yeah, let's just float over here. Okay. Um, let's try this again. Okay. Oh, come on. They had you there, right? There. <clears throat> And now we can get some capacity out of some cargo here. Oh, come on. Can I get that in? Oh, I saw it there. It flashes. Come on. It, it wants to go. It wants to go. It wants to go in there. Let's do it this way. There we go. Um, so too high. What do we got? That's four, eight, nine. Nine times eight is 7,200. 72,000. So that's not too bad. 72,000 for that one. Um, it's not that much, really. 72,000. I mean, it'll do for now. And then we want... We want to collapse that one down and put that in row. We'll have one, two, three, four, five. We'll have five... Um, regular cargo boxes okay so let's do some transferring here we've got to transfer all of this crap into the new container controller with 72,000 I had to look to see if my math was right <laughs> of course uh, okay uh, We'll just get all this in here for now. What else? That one, that one, that one. Oh, 
Okay, so now we can disconnect from that and we can pop it off. In the meantime, we can go like this and connect to the container controller. There, now I should be able to throw that stuff in there. I can even throw that in there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we can put this on here. We can get the fuel tanks put in. We need to make more blocks and we have lots of, uh, well, we don't have lots of iron, but we have enough, hopefully. Put some more here. Okay, so let's make some more steel blocks. And we've got to select the container controller. I'm just going to put it right back into the container controller for now. That's going to be steel blocks. So let's make another 200, 300, 300. We'll probably need 300 easily. Okay. So now let's keep building the walls up here. I mean, yeah, it's going to be a box from the inside, the, the hangar, but it'd be cool if we can get this sealed up. Um, I'm going to want the roof as cargo also. So one, two, three... And then four, should I do the roof? Very narrow, flat roof. Yeah, let's do, we're gonna do the roof there. And then it's gonna continue up on an angle like a barn. Okay, so let's, let's seal this in. We're gonna make some more container extensions. So we need another controller. We almost need two, um, we almost need two constructors at this point. It's not a bad idea actually. Here, let's, let's stop that. Let's make another constructor. We can always upgrade them to advanced. But we're going to need two, obviously, because we need one pumping out blocks. Okay. Almost there. So. Hmm. How much of the roof do I actually want to use for that, though? You know what? I think. Hmm. Yeah, I see what's going on there. Let's. I'm just going to seal this up right here. And then, so now we've got all the cargo out of this one, right? So let's take this one off. No, we don't. Okay, good. I'm glad I looked at that first instead of bopping it. So container controller, go in there. There we go. 30,000 of volume now. Okay, so let's pop that off. And we need to make, pop that there. We need to make two more. We're going to have to get rid of this light too. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So we need two more regular cargo. Two more regular cargo. We also have got to think about how we're going to do the ammo. Oh, you know what? That might work for ammo right here. We 
we can do a thin strip of, yeah, so on the roof portion, we can start the ammo, and then we'll do another controller beyond that. Okay, so let's make, let's get these made. Let's get these made. So we need, um, we've got one of the ammo. We've got a bunch of the steel blocks here. Uh, and we've got the large constructor, so let's get that down. And then, so now we can get the this one making blocks again. Got this one making blocks. Okay, hopefully we don't run out of iron. And we've got a lot, so. That's not going to make us run out. How much does it take? Ten steel plates. And that is... Two. So two ingots per. So that means we can basically make... Um, one... One block per ore. Oh yeah, okay, so we can we can totally afford that. Okay, good. Good to know. One steel one large steel block per iron ore. That's what it counts to. <laughs> uh right, and we've got the other constructor. We'll just put that somewhere for now. It doesn't matter so much. We can put it here. We're not moving the HV anytime soon. Uh, and this one, we can get going with other stuff. So let's just group some stuff here. Okay, so that is the one working on. No, it's that is the new one we just put down. So let's container controller. Uh, we need more. We need a container controller, a regular one like that. And we need a whole bunch more container extensions. So let's make like 30 at least. And then what else? What else did it need? What else did we need? We needed to make, um, oh, we needed to make regular cargo boxes, right? We have one here that we zapped off. Where is it? So let's get that in. Okay, so I'm just going to put in I'm just going to put in their match. Yeah, we'll just do the eight, 8k ones. That's fine. And then uh, now do I need more than three of the 8K ones? I probably need a more, I probably need more than 70. I need 80. No, 72 is fine for mats. Yeah, no, that's tons. Okay. Um, okay. And then we need two more. So, how are you doing, buddy? You're plugging along. We need two more of the regular cargo boxes. And I actually kind of want those first. Okay. And what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I guess we should pop that cargo box off. Because we're going to be moving it. Uh, okay, so let's get rid of the rest of these blocks here. Okay. OK. 
steel block. Steel block. I'm just getting rid of all the steel. Oh. That's a thruster. Okay, good. Would have been nice to have had a T2, but that's fine. We'll we'll make a better multi-tool once once we have an advanced constructor. That's not that big of a deal. Okay, so now, um. All the iron blocks? Is that all the steel blocks? What's that? That's a thruster. Thruster. Steel block. Okay. So, but we need to remove this. So let's get the ammo out of it. Should be able to carry it. Yeah, it's only, it's not that heavy. Okay. Oops, I had it selected. And then, you know what, we, I guess at this point, let's get rid of the thrusters. Let's, let's lift the thrusters up. There's no point in having them Just going into here. We've got lots of space for him. Yep. We'll make better use of these and on the ship. In a better location anyway. Okay. Uh, a thruster. Okay, is that it? Is that it for thrusters? I think it is. Let's take a look. Auto group. Thrusters missing. Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's get the RCS off. Uh, the Wi-Fi we'll just keep there for now. Okay, so now let's grab our stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's put the cargo in first here. Get that all matched up. Good. And then we wanted... So I was going to do the ammo. Um, that's the... Wait. Stop that. That's the ammo, right? Ammo, yeah. CV, okay. So let's do a short little thing of ammo here. I know we had the 2000 K or 2K ammo box, but this is already, I think this is like 8K, just this small one. So, yeah. So even if we just didn't do anything else, we just quadrupled the amount of ammo we can have and with half the amount of space taken up. So, um, I mean, I doubt we'll ever need more than that much. I mean, 8,000. It's 
crazy to think we might need anything more than that. But you know what? No, this thing won't. It, it just won't. It won't. Let's just... Let's just get this starting to get covered. And then actually I'll go like this and like this. And then we'll do, we want this more in the center. So where is it? It is right there. We want the controller in the center. And then we, did we stop it from making all of the, We'll see how much we need here. So this one's going to end up being basically the uh, the ore ore box. Let's put these in. Okay, so we need three more. Three more extenders. Okay, let's put blocks in here. And blocks here. Okay. I've almost got a, a sealed hanger. Um, so three more extensions. Okay. We didn't make them, did we? No. No, we did not. So let's auto group again. And we'll go into the constructors. And this one's done, so we'll get it to make three more. Okay. Now, this should give us sufficient storage to, to get us started. To get a, a, a space base somewhere started and, and to get us able to look around. I didn't want to make it too big because we, we don't have a lot of thrusters. So, that's why it's going to be a little peeny piece of crap for starters. But, oh, I had a bunch. Why did I make more? You know what? That's fine. I. Actually, I'll need more. I'll need more anyway, so that's fine. Um, let's let's grab some air. Just notice how low we're getting. It's constructor, where's my O2? Armor. There it is. Thank you back in thank you oh yep see it's sealed in here 22 degrees nice so if we put a ventilator in here and then <laughs> Okay, let me out. Um, we need another, yeah, we need to build the construction room up now. So how was I gonna do this? How did I wanna do this? going to be a peeny little constructor room or I continue with the with a with a rectangle or square I should say and just like bring it out and then thin it down to a point at the center yeah because I think if I did it right now it would, it would come to a point too quick so let's um yeah, because we also need we also need space for the uh, 
Uh, let's let's build up the the upstairs here. Let's build up the upstairs. So we're gonna go like this, and this will come to I don't know where for now. This is going to be the engine room, fuel room, warp drive. Okay, because it should all just... Oh, it's going to be tight. The warp drive, yeah, it's all going to be very freaking tight, isn't it? <laughs> Three by... Basically, this section here... It's going to take up the entire freaking the warp drive. It's going to take up most of this, so it'll have some forward space. And depends on if it's two or three high. So let's put blocks in. Put the blocks in here. Blocks across here. And then we want more of the angled blocks. the hmm. sorry my my mic is bugging me here how are we going to cover the i'm not sure how we're going to cover that how are we going to cover the warp drive Needs to go one higher. Let's um, let's make this steeper. So yeah, I know we're gonna take all these out uh, except for that one. I don't. We need to take that one out. I'm not sure. I don't think Those ones can stay. Uh, he's got to go wrong angle. side. We're almost to the end of this episode here. We'll just get this little bit finished off. Um, so that I can transfer some stuff up inside here. So that's also going to mean let's grab those blocks here. And this is going to have to come all the way. It'll have to come all the way. What we want is we want a, a less gradual slope. Like this. That way we can we can jump up one. Oops, we can jump up one block higher. Okay, 
and then regular blocks. Okay. And then we want So I guess now we could do a steeper angle. Which is actually a better idea. I think we need to do that. Let's do the steeper angle now. Do a full slope. Kind of making a barn, I think. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, we're making a barn. Fine. Make a bloody barn then. <laughs> okay. So, we'll make our flying barn. And, uh... <laughs> God, it's freaking ugly. It's already ugly as hell. We haven't even started. Uh, I gotta move equipment up into here. Now, the warp drive... Put it all the way to the back. It's going to come forward right here and fill that entire space up. That doesn't leave us much space here. That means we got to leave a spot to get the warp drive in. Unless, well, we could punch up through. We could punch it up through. That's not a big deal punch it down okay so next episode we'll continue on I'll get some more uh, goodies cooked up and we hopefully we'll get the construction area built so we'll, we'll finish off the the utility room and or engineering bay I guess a little mini engineering bay and then we'll we'll get the construction room cooked um, and maybe even the cockpit area done and then we can start looking at putting the thrusters on and making this thing viable as an actual CV <laughs> well guys uh, yeah the flying barn I'm actually making a flying freaking barn can't believe that I'm making flying barn <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm obviously painting it red. It's it's now going to be red with white trim. <laughs> oh, silly. And I oh yeah, I've got the uh, tool here too, don't I? Yes. Okay, so we can do the we can do the flat no, we want it to make make it look like wood. And then we're going to paint it red. I'm connected to a bar. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, so we'll choose that, and that, and... Uh, it's not lining up very well, though, is it? That's not that bad. <laughs> a red wooden <laughs> freaking capital vessel. Oh. Uh...
I don't, I, I don't like it. <laughs> well, yeah, I really don't like it. silly well guys i think i'll leave it off here uh next time we'll uh take the barn and no we're not going to take it anywhere we're going to keep building on it and hopefully we'll have it seaworthy fairly soon so till then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day